Hello, it's Marco Matosha here from Markham3D.com. If you've been coming here often, please make sure you hit that subscribe video to keep up to date with my videos. Make sure you hit the like button, it really helps me out. The first blend random we're talking about is Archie Mesh. Now I've done a tutorial about it on how to use it uh, in a previous video. So I recommend going and watch that. But the basic gist of it is, is we can create architectural visualization, um, create walls and doors and windows. It's a beautiful add-on. I highly recommend it if that's something you're into because it quickly um, creates those meshes and gets you going. Now my second favorite add-on, I only discovered a couple of days ago, uh, I saw somebody using it. It's loop tools. So I've got this enabled. And now if I go, I'm just gonna put that origin back to the center there. I'm gonna do Shift A at a plane. Let's scale it up a bit, why not? I'm gonna press W to subdivide that puppy. And let's just come up here and just subdivide that a few more times. Now this cool thing is I can select these faces. Let's just select and go one more set of faces. I can press W, go into loop tools, and then I can click circle. In it's made me a circle. My mind was blown. This is absolutely brilliant. And then I can extrude. And now I've got a circle in a square. So anyway, came across this. I was absolutely bewildered. Um, you know, I can come down here now, we can come around here, control B, put on a bit of bevel, come down here as well, control B, do a bevel, and now if I go to, let's go shade smooth, it's smooth, <laughs> put on the subdivision surface modifier, look at that, ah, oh, I could not believe it when I came across this. So that's the loop tools add-on. So my third add-on that I recommend is the edit linked library. So what this does is, let's say this is my scene. I've already got this saved to the computer. I go file, I want to link a different object. So if I go tempt my cubish object, I'm going to go into object and the cube. So I've got this object here. So we've got our cube here in the background but this is just not working. And rather than opening up the other blend file, I can just press N to go into edit mode, come all the way down to the bottom, and I can click edit library this cube. Bam. And now I'm in the other file, GY, let's go Shift S, and then come back down here. I can return to the original file, and there we go. Brilliant. Now my fourth favorite add-on is the extra objects add-on, the, the mesh one especially. So if we come back into our scene, Shift A, Mesh. Now we've got a whole bunch of extra stuff. Mechanical, pipe joints, we've got gears. Let's throw in a gear while we're at it. And I mean, this is all predefined stuff. It is a very good add-on just to get stuff moving quickly is, is what exactly what we want. Um, Taurus objects, so you can have like a bit of a knot. Uh, this thing, where we can bump it up. And so we kind of get this different type of sphere. Beautiful, it's a beautiful thing. Um, so that's my fourth favorite add-on. So last but not least, my fifth favorite add-on is the landscape add-on. So on an empty scene, Shift A, Mesh, Landscape, now we've got all these presets where we can create crazy landscapes. Um, you know, straight away I can make this now into kind of like a Martian land. and It's a beautiful add-on for quickly creating landscapes. If you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, like the video. It really helps me out. And thank you very much for coming.